and welcome everyone to another year of makeup empty so i am going to go through all of this these are all the things i finished last year i'll tell you if i will repurchase them or not and at the end i'll give you a grand total of all the things that i finished i have a mug of super delicious oolong here with me let's get into this Okay, putting it out like this, it really doesn't look like much, does it? <laughs> a whole year of trying to use stuff up, and this is what I've got. But let's go through it. Some of these things did take me a long time. So starting over here with sunscreens, this one from, oh, I should say I finished four sunscreens last year, which seems, seems pretty par for the course for me. This one from Bliss, I would absolutely use again. I do wish it was a little slightly higher SPF, but this is a matte mineral sunscreen that works very, very beautiful under makeup. So I probably will get this again eventually. This one from Eucerin, this is the Age Dep Defense SPF 50. Um, this one was just okay. It was very thick and it was hydrating, but it just wasn't my absolute favorite compared to like a lot of the K-Beauty ones that I've tried. This one from Tula. A lot of people like to use this one as like a glowy primer and that it does work very well for that, but it is SPF 30. I'm probably not going to reach for this again. I have actual, I have other sunscreens that I prefer, but this was okay. This is probably my favorite sunscreen that I used up of the year. This is from Make Prem, the light and refreshing sun essence with full moisture. <laughs> so this is SPF 50. It worked beautifully under makeup. It's really light, but it's still kind of lotion-y, so it does have a nice moisturizing element to it, but it's not heavy. Really like this one. I have one <laughs> eye base that I used up, although, you know, these take forever, and this is actually just a mini. This was, all the writing is rubbed off, but this was from Lorac. So happy to finish this. Now I'm down to just one eyeshadow base. I'm using up the one from Milani, which will probably take me like three years or something, but happy to have this out of my collection. I finished off one lip liner this year. I totally forgot that I finished this off this year. I had worked on it all 2022 and I finished it at the very beginning of 2023. This was from Essence. These little wooden pencils are quite good from Essence and they last a really long time. This was the shade Big Proposal which is a discontinued shade. If you can find a shade you like in Essence, I do recommend their lip liners. I think they're nice. I finished off two foundations. This one from Tower 28 I enjoyed, um, but I do think I like others more. I like the one from Yensa and the one from Misha. They're both higher SPF and, slight, uh, and they sit slightly better on my skin. So while I enjoy the Tower 28, I don't think I'm going to repurchase that one. This one I absolutely adored from Essence, the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Um, you can't get this anymore. It's a dis discontinued product, but it was really, really pretty. Just kind of a natural looking foundation. Just, oh, I loved this and I, I couldn't believe it was like a $5 foundation. Finished off one concealer last year, the Kosas Revealer Concealer. Um, I have been missing this in my collection. I said I would not repurchase this again just because it makes me feel pressured to finish it really, really quickly. This is, it has the type of formula that goes bad quickly, but I admit I've been very, very tempted to repurchase it again just because I loved it so much. So creamy and hydrating under the eyes. I really loved how it looked, but I recently got a notification from Influencer that they're sending me this again. I don't know if they're sending me the right shade. <laughs> in any case, I'll soon have it in my collection again, which I admit I am thrilled about. I finished one eyeliner. This is from Pixie. I really recommend their eyeliners. They're very, very creamy. And for me, they stayed put better than the Urban Decay ones. So I really like that. This was the shade Matte Mulberry. Lip mask products. This one from 4th Ray Beauty. I absolutely would use one of these again. It lasted me a really long time. It had a beautiful scent and I found it to be very hydrating. So I really liked this. This one from Flower Beauty. Actually, I, I really, really liked this one, but I was very disappointed at how little product there was in here. I finished this off so fast. This was the Petal Pout Lip Mask. I had mine in the shade Sangria. I don't even know if these are still available. The product inside is lovely. There's just not much of it. Yeah, it was only 1.4 mils. It was, this was tiny. 
And I finished off a lip balm from Fresh. So I think this was just the original, yeah, the Advanced Therapy lip treatment. I really like the original one. I have one that's tinted that I don't enjoy as much, but I did enjoy this. So three lip balm type products over here. Let's do eyebrows. So I finished off one brow pencil. I really liked this one. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Brows on Point Waterproof Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I would absolutely use this again. Every once in a while I see this brand at TJ Maxx, but never this product. Everyone else must love it as well because it's just never there. But I would absolutely use this again. I think it's just as good as the Benefit one that I like. I finished off one, the Wow Brow from e.l.f. The shade I finished off is the shade Neutral Brown. A friend actually just gave me another one of these, so I have another one to finish off. I don't know if I'll be able to, though. I still have to test it. I think she gave me a lot deeper shade than this, but I'm definitely going to try it out. I think the e.l.f. Wow Brow is fine. It's not something that I'm really excited about, but it works fine. And then this is a product I really did not like. This is from Beautique Beauty. This was a clear brow gel. This is the type that left white flakes in my brows and I really hated it, but I powered through it to finish it as much as I could before the rest of it got goopy. And by the time it got goopy, I had used most of it. So I'm counting it as an empty. I only finished off four glosses last year, which is a lot less than usual for me. And I think it's because I tried to pan several that I ended up decluttering. So these were the only ones I managed to actually get through. So here we have a mini, and of course it's got hair and stuff stuck to it. That is just gross. But it was in my empties bin and cat hair got in there. That's what happens. But anyway, from Ilia, this was the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. I didn't think this was anything special. I would not recommend that at all. This one from Seraphine Botanicals I actually really enjoy. This was the Berry and Juice Vegan Lip Gel in the shade Rose Current. That took me a long time to finish, if I remember correctly, but I enjoyed that. I absolutely love these from Tower 28. The Tower 28 glosses are top ranked for me. This was the shade Cashew. I haven't purchased any lately just because I'm trying to get through other glosses first, but as soon as I can like buy the glosses I actually want to buy, I'll be buying a bunch of these because I really like them. Oh, all the cat hair, so much cat hair. And then I just finished this one from Undone Beauty. This is the Big Papa Gloss in the shade Watercolor Rose. I like this. It was very easy to wear. It didn't bother my lips. It was just a very pretty sheer wash of color. I liked it, and I finished it off really quickly as well. Face sprays. I finished off two. The mini MAC Fix Plus is actually my first time trying the uh, MAC Fix Plus, and I really like it, and I already have a full size, so yeah, already have repurchased this one. And then this one from Ciate London. This is the Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. Um, I didn't really care for this. This was just kind of a dewy setting spray that I didn't notice it actually setting makeup, just kind of giving me hydration. I don't know. It was just okay. I'm not going to repurchase that. I finished off one bronzer last year, which I forgot that this was this year. It was at the very beginning of this year because I worked on this bronzer throughout all of 2022. But this is a mini, but this is a mini Park Avenue Princess bronzer from Tarte. And even though it was only uh, one gram of product, this took a very, very, very long time for me to finish. So exciting to have a powder bronzer empty. And I am hoping to finish off another bronzer this year. Okay, so then that brings us to mascara which I finished off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mascaras last year. So everyone's different in terms of when they retire mascaras. I usually keep them around for six months, or if they get bad before then, sometimes they'll get flaky and dry and bad, and then I'll know that, you know, that, that they're done. But usually six months for me, especially when I'm using more than one mascara at a time, I don't think three months is long enough. And most of them do say six months on the bottom. Yeah, but like this one from Ilya says six months. I know generally the rule is three months, but I don't know. If the mascara itself says six months on it, I, kind of, I tend to trust that more. Anyway, most of these I have videos about. I've been doing a lot of like, deep diving into mascaras this year. I'm going to continue to do it next year. Um, but just real quick, this one from Ilya, the Limitless Lash Mascara, is one of the best lengthening mascaras that you can find. I highly recommend it. I think I do have just a little mini of this in my backup stash. I can't wait to use that. If you like a fluttery, more natural looking mascara, but that still actually shows up, <laughs> this is a beautiful mascara from ColourPop. I do recommend this one. This is my favorite mascara find of the year from Honest Beauty. This is the Extreme Length Mascara and Lash Primer. This is the one that has a primer on one side 
and then a mascara on the other side. I really enjoy this one, and I got a backup of this one too already. This one from L'Oreal I really liked. Uh, I, in general, I do like L'Oreal mascaras. This was the Limitless Mascara, no, the Unlimited Mascara. I don't know if this one is still available, but I would use it again if it came my direction. I liked it. Um, I do like the Telescopic Mascara, but I really dislike how flimsy the wand is. It can make it difficult to use, but I did like it in terms of lengthening. I do prefer the Ilia over the L'Oreal. Another mascara that I don't even know if it's around anymore. This was just a mini of the Batter Boom Volumizing Mascara from Umma by Sharon C. I've tried two mascaras from Umma and I really like both of them. Very pretty volumizing mascara. Ah, Tower 28. This is, this one and the Cali Ray, uh, I think are my two favorite mascaras of all time. And I love it so much. This is, the, this is a mascara that does all the things. Uh, one thing to note, I was very disappointed that this did not last a full six months. Like this dried out at like four, four and a half months. So in the future, I'm going to pick up minis. I like this one from Milani. This is the anti-gravity. This is the mascara that looks like it does nothing for the first month you have it open and then all of a sudden it becomes amazing. So <laughs> yeah, I would use this mascara again. And then another one from Milani, the highly rated Lash Extensions. This is a tubing mascara. So for that, it's a good mascara if you like tubing. But for me, I found it to be heavy on my lashes. So this isn't one I'm going to repurchase. So all in all, I finished... Thirty-two products this year, which I think generally I finish 30 something products per year. This is not as good as previous years and it's just because I did not finish off nearly as many lip products as usual. Hopefully this year I can do better. Here on the screen is the dollar amount total for the, all the items I finished this year. I always find these videos, the, st the statistics interesting. If you keep track of your empties throughout the year, please make sure and let us all know down in the comment section how did your year go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have are having a great start at the beginning of your year. I will see See you again very soon in my next one. Bye!